This video presentation briefly describes the two different operational control panels of EcoPulse equipped BAT recon systems. The first, a conventional control panel, and the second, a computer software control panel. The underlying hardware and system capabilities are the same. However, you can choose which control panel you are more comfortable to work with. The conventional control panel uses switches, knobs, and an LCD display panel to allow input and output to and from the machines. The computer software control panel uses a state-of-the-art user interface that allows the operator to use any web-based computer connected to the internet for worldwide remote operation. A local network computer may also be used to remotely operate the machines without an internet connection. The EcoPulse system may be used in the Model 5000 and 6000 Fleet Tune optimization products or in the models 5048, 6048, and 6080 service systems. The conventional model 6080 service system is often used in the forklift battery industry as an integral load bank discharge system, an external charger bypass system, and is capable of an auto sequence mode to automate the battery servicing process. The conventional model 5048 service system is often used in the golf cart industry and as an integral load bank discharge system and an external charge bypass system. The 5048 series is limited in output power and has a lower purchase price when compared to the model 6048 series. If you're looking for a computer software based system with advanced auto sequence mode capabilities, energy efficiency analysis capabilities, and may be operated remotely from anywhere in the world, then the new web based command and control system would be ideal for your operation. For this discussion, we are assuming that the system has been configured and connected to a battery. This is the basic start panel. It displays the basic features of the software control panel. On the left side of the panel, you will see the BAT Recon logo, a manual tab button, the auto tab button, a rundown timer, a sequence indicator, a repeat display window, and the bank display window. The upper taskbar has the typical file, view, tools, and help icons, which are universal and well known to most operators. The remaining upper segment is the BAT Recon Control Bar, which has a Settings tab, a Display tab, a green Start button, a Set Battery Voltage window, and a red Stop button. Beginning with the left column tabs, the operator must first decide if they want to operate the systems in a manual mode, which is a single use of a single device, or a multiple device application requiring that an auto sequence mode be established. Let's first start with a manual model of operation and we will select a BAT Recon discharge device to discharge test the battery at 125 amps until the calculated volts per cell or VPC reaches 1.7. We are testing to see if the battery will last for five hours at this discharge rate. We first left click on the manual tab. Then a pop-up window appears with all of the device options listed. Let's take a moment to look at the options. X-Charge 1, which is an abbreviation for an external charger connection number 1. The connection of an external charger to the BAT Recon machine, such as a standard charger. It should be noted that the BAT Recon command and control system can only start and stop external chargers. It cannot change the charger's native operational profile. X-Charge 2, which is an abbreviation for external charger connection number 2. The connection of an optional second external charger type, such as a constant current charger. BR Charge which is an abbreviation for BAT Recon Charge, is the selection of the internal BAT Recon Charger. 
Since the BAT Recon internal charger is software driven, the command and control system can precisely change the charging profile to vary the charger's output to match the operator's requirements. BR Discharge, which is an abbreviation for BAT Recon Discharge, is the selection of the internal BAT Recon patented pulse battery discharge system. The BAT Recon integral discharge system is also software driven. So, the command and control system can precisely change the discharge profile to match the operator's requirements. This is likely the smartest battery discharging system in the world, with precise command and control parameters and worldwide remote operation. X Discharge, which is an abbreviation for a client supplied external discharge machine, the selection of a client's local battery discharge system. This is an option and must be requested at the time of order. It should be noted that the BAT Recon command and control system cannot control the amperage discharge rate of an external discharge system. Only start and stop the system within the allotted time parameters. BAT Recon is the application of the patented EcoPulse system that desulfates the battery. Cool Time is the application of a time delay between sequences to allow the battery to cool down. This feature is only used in auto sequence mode and is set in minutes of delay between device cycles. Z-Test is the application of a real-time impedance test during the sequencing of the battery devices and it can be used as a manual mode operation. Now that we've covered all of the available device mode selections, let's go back to the original manual mode example. To discharge a battery one time using the Bat Recon discharge device, discharging at 125 amps until the calculated volts per cell, or VPC, reaches 1.7. We left click on Manual tab and the drop down window appears listing all the available devices. We left click on the BR discharge device, then a parameters window appears. Type the number 125 in the amps block or use the cursor to move the values up or down. Type in 1.70 in the VPC off block. This is the average cell voltage when the command and control center will stop the discharge test. Click on Save. This closes the window and adds the BR Discharge tab in the LH Operators Panel area. When you're ready to start the device, select the battery voltage at the top of the test bar and change it to match your battery voltage. Then go to the top of the panel and left click on the start button and the system will connect the battery to the BR discharge device and the BR discharge device indicator will turn green when it is operating. Red when the BR discharge device is not connected. The device will remain connected until either the VPC threshold is reached or the time threshold is reached. Once either of these parameters has been exceeded, then the command and control system will disconnect the device from the battery. To make this demonstration more interesting, let's bring in the display view panels. Go to the top taskbar and select the display tab. You will see a drop-down menu appear with the four available display views available, which are Data View, Block View, Gauge View, and Graph View. You can select one or all of the display views, then resize them to suit your preference. I have chosen to bring all four displays onto the control panel and have sized them to my personal preference. That's it! You're now running a single device in manual mode.